in August 23, uh, total UPI transaction count crossed 10 billion mark and it's a remarkable achievement uh, in the world of digital finance. It also uh, depicts that, depicts the success of UPI framework which has been established by government. Uh, also we can expect uh, increased security features uh, which will uh, help to increase adoption of UPI as well. Hi guys, welcome to the yet another episode of Cut the Noise where we break down difficult financial terms and topics in a very simple bite. And today we are discussing about UPI payments and transactions. What is UPI and why it is trending nowadays? To discuss all this, today we have Rishabh Hasija with us. Welcome Rishabh. Thank you. So Rishabh, my first question to you is, what is UPI in a very simple term and how one can access UPI? Just to simplify what UPI is, it actually means Unified Payment Interface, which allows everyone to make digital payments using their mobile phones. There are a lot of apps, uh, mobile applications such as Phone Pay, Paytm, Google Pay, which are available through which these transactions, these UPI transactions can be made even at sitting at a home. So Rishabh, uh, talking about UPI, we recently saw that in August 23, UPI transactions crossed 10 billion mark. So why this is a big deal for UPI? Rightly said, in August 23, uh, total UPI transaction count crossed 10 billion mark and it's a remarkable achievement uh, in the world of digital finance. And this not only means that the digital payments have increased in India, rather it also uh, depicts that depicts the success of UPI framework which has been established by government. This transformation from a cash-centric economy to a digitally uh, enabled economy is really uh, revolutionary. A lot of government initiatives such as Jandan Yojana and Digital India have really helped to increase awareness uh, in, 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 in the public and help to achieve this uh, remarkable feat. And, and the increase in digital payment uh, really helps uh, every economy to grow uh, in, in, in every area of industry. So Rishabh, my other question to you is, what is making UPI transactions so popular that many people like you and me are using UPI just like that? There are a lot of benefits which UPI brings in, uh, which really allows everyone to access it very easily. First of all, it's uh, it, it allows instant payment. The payment can be done in few seconds just by using mobile phones. And also, all nationalized banks allow to use UPI by just linking the bank account to UPI IDs. It is available 24 seven, and it can also be used to make mobile uh, payments and recharges. Uh, further, this is free of cost until now, so therefore, it, all these benefits have really helped to increase the acceptability of UPI ecosystem. So, I have another question. How does UPI's success affects people like me or even the small businesses? First of all, UPI allows a secure way of making instant money transfers to anyone. So, which really adds comfort to the acceptability of UPI. Additionally, UPI is accepted uh, by all nationalized banks. And in fact, a person who has multiple bank accounts can link all those bank accounts with the one UPI ID. A lot of small businesses and in fact, large businesses as well have started embracing UPI as a payment mechanism, which allows larger customer base to make payments more conveniently. Hence, increasing the, uh, the usability of UPI as a payment mechanism. So I have a last question. What might change in UPI as it keeps growing and how can our experience as a user could be made better or easier? Increase in UPI transactions really signifies that there's, there's a very bright future for digital uh, economy like India. And in these changing times, we can uh, anticipate a lot of potential developments and innovation in the UPI framework, which will eventually simplify the UPI uh, transactions even more and will, be, will make these more secure. Some of these innovations could be uh, enhanced integration of UPI in our day-to-day -day areas of life. Uh, also, we can expect uh, increased security features uh, which will uh, help to 
increased adoption of UPI as well. Uh, thirdly, we can also anticipate a voice and gesture based uh, optionalities to use UPI for, for customers and users. Last but not the least, we can also expect features uh, which allow offline transactions through UPI. So all these really indicate that we can expect a lot of advancements and innovation in the space to further fuel uh, growth of digital ecosystem in India. So thank you so much, Risha, for clearing these doubts around UPI and its transactions and its trends, why it is trending and why it is important for us as a user. So guys, if you have any doubt or any suggestions, any feedback, put it in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, get a grip on your money and go beyond. Investments in debt securities are subject to risks. Read all the offer-related documents carefully.